Look! A tower! Huh? This tower wasn't here before, was it? I feel like it just showed up. Yeah, you're right! Hmm. Let's take a quick look inside! It'll be fun! Hmm. We better not, Mikey. Let's go. Why? I don't trust it. You can wait here then. I'll go inside on my own. I bet it's full of treasure! Really? Yeah! I'll wait here. Okay! Whoa! Hmm? Ah! Let go of me! Huh? Stop it! Leave me alone! Ah! What? Mikey! Are you okay? Mikey just got kidnapped! I knew this tower was bad news! I better go in there and save him! It's up to me to rescue Mikey from this evil tower! Three, two, one, open! Hmm? I don't see anything dangerous in here. What is this place? Wait, what? Huh? Hey! Oh no, it was a trap! The door's been sealed off, I'm stuck! I need to hurry up and save Mikey. He's probably being held at the top of the tower. I need to climb up as quickly as possible. It's my job to set him free. How do I get to the next floor? Oh, there's an opening in the ceiling. That must be the way through. Hang on, how am I supposed to reach it? Let me think. Hmm? Hold up, I found a chest. Maybe there's something in here that can help me. Milk, eggs, wheat, sugar? I might as well hold on to it. Why is there so much milk? I have no idea how any of this is supposed to help me. I don't think drinking it will help me either. I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Let's see. Oh, I've got it! I need to use a crafting table. Time to bake some cakes. There we go. I wonder how many of these I can actually make. Seven? Perfect! That should be enough to get me to the next floor. If I stack these cakes in the corner, I should be able to climb up. These will be the different steps. Just a few more. There we go. Almost done. Perfect. Ta-da! My cake stairs are ready. If I take a little nibble out of each cake, then I can carve away to the next floor. Just like this. All right. One more. Awesome. Last bite. There. I made my very own cake staircase. Pretty impressive, huh? Second floor, here I come. All right, I made it. I can't believe that worked. Now it's time to figure out where Mikey went. Hmm? Huh? Wait, what's going on over there? Oh, an iron pickaxe! Hmm... Whoa, lava! Weird. A witch and a cat. Maybe I'm supposed to mine the stone, then build a bridge to one of them. I'll give it a try. Is that all the stone there is? I hope it's enough. Hmm? Huh? Wait! I'm taking poison damage! Which one of you poisoned me, huh? It must have been the witch. But there's no way you're getting away with that. Into the lava with you! Yes! I did it! I feel like I should save the cat now. I'm coming, kitty! Hmm. Whoa, good job! Hang on a second, you're giving me some milk? That's exactly what I need! I think I'll drink it right now. Whoa, thanks, kitty! My poison is finally clearing up! Looks like I'll be getting some health back, too. Now then... Huh? Oh, are these ladders? Thanks again, kitty! You should get out while you still can. This tower isn't safe. Great, it's escaping. Now then, I wonder what the deal is with these ladders. Let's see... Oh, another spot to climb up! I'll use the ladders to get to the next floor. Hopefully it's not too late to rescue Mikey. I wonder what happened to him. Well, there's only one way to find out. Whoever kidnapped him is gonna pay for what they did as soon as I get to the top of this tower. These ladders are super useful. I made it to the next floor. Now then, I better... Hmm? 
What's this? Why are there so many cows crammed into the corner? Is that slime? And what's this thing up here? A snow bridge? Hmm. Looks like I need to cross to the other side. I hope it's not too powdery. I'd hate to fall through. My safest option is to dash across. I'm a little nervous, but I have a feeling it's gonna work. Let's do this. Ready? Go! Jump! Oh, I fell right through! Huh? Looks like the slime block stopped me from taking damage. I'll try again. Here I go! Hmm... I think I figured it out. These are powder snow blocks. Powder snow blocks are too fluffy to stand on normally. In that case, how am I supposed to cross it? Maybe there's another way. It might have something to do with the cows. Oh, there's a chest. I'll open it. Interesting. There's some iron ingots and a few wooden planks. I'll use the wooden planks to make a crafting table. Now I know how the herd of cows are involved. I think I've solved the puzzle. First, I need to keep crafting. I'll make an iron sword to get the resources from the herd. There. Trust me, I wouldn't be doing this unless it was absolutely necessary to cross the powder snow bridge. I'm really sorry, cows, but I have to save Mikey. Come on. There's a certain material that I'm hunting for from these cows. Did you figure out what the material is? Leather. Now I have everything I need. I'll start by crafting a pair of leather boots. If you wear leather boots, you can walk across powder snow blocks. Here. Thank you, cows, for your sacrifices. I'm about to show you why it was all worth it. Check it out. I'm not sinking. It feels like I'm flying. I should be able to safely cross the powder snow bridge without any more slip-ups. There we go. I made it. Now what am I supposed to do? Hmm... It looks like a dead end. Can I break through here? Hmm? Whoa, hang on! There's something on the other side of this sand wall. I see a chest and a ladder. If there's a ladder, I bet that means there's a way up to reach the next floor. But no matter how much sand I dig up, more sand keeps coming down from above. What am I supposed to do? Hmm? Oh! Hang on. This should help. If I place a torch fast enough, it should open up a gap for me. Let's put that theory to the test. Hey, hey it worked! That's awesome! Wow, that's cool. It actually worked. Now I should be able to walk right through the sand wall. Yes! Mission accomplished! Let's take a look inside that chest. Oh, a golden apple! Snack time! I've been low on health for a while, so I'm gonna eat it right away. There we go. That's exactly what I needed. My health is already maxed out. All right, time to climb. I have to hurry up the tower so I can save Mikey before anything bad happens to him. I hope he's okay. I need to get to the bottom of this and find out who his kidnapper really is. Yes! There, I made it. Hang on. What's that? No way. Why are there so many lasers bouncing around this hallway? Do I really have to go through them all? That looks dangerous. Hmm? Huh? Back off! What is that? Some kind of monster popped up out of nowhere! It's slowing down because it's too tall. I'm not waiting around. There's no way I'm letting that freaky blue monster get to me. How am I supposed to get through these lasers? Oh, I know. I'll jump on these things on the edges. Whoa! That was a close one. It almost caught me. One false step and I would have been a goner. I'm just glad I made it to safety. Moving on. I need to hurry and find Mikey. Let's see. What's this room? Oh, there's a ledge up there, but other than that, the room is empty. There's only a single chest in the corner. Three, two, one. Open. There are eight water buckets, some dispensers, TNT, redstone dust, a button, quartz blocks, and a quartz slab. What am I supposed to do with all of that? Wait. Hmm. For some reason, I get the feeling I'm supposed to use these items to reach the ledge up there. 
Oh, of course! I know what to do! I'll build my escape mechanism from scratch. That looks good. Perfect. There. All good. The frame is finished. Now I can fill it up. I'll empty the water from these buckets into the center of the contraption. Last but not least, I'll fill in the corners. There we go. The only thing left is to fill the dispensers with TNT. I'll try to divide it equally. It's important that all the TNT is balanced. The main part of my device is finished. If I just connect the dispensers with redstone dust, then everything should be good to go. Now for the button. I'm finished! I put together a functioning TNT cannon. Once I push the button, the TNT will eject into the water and launch me to the next floor. I must be getting close to the top of the tower now. I hope Mikey's okay. Let's do this thing! Okay... Whoa! Wow! I did it on my first try! This must be the top of the tower. I'll see what's in here. Three, two, one, open! Oh? What's this? Is this the top? Where am I? Oh, a cage! Wait, what's that? Huh? What's going on? Mikey's passed out inside the cell! Whoa! That's definitely a bad guy. He must be the one who kidnapped Mikey. I bet he's the one in charge of this entire tower. He looks really tough. Can I beat him? Hmm? Oh, there's a pipe running across the ceiling. Maybe if I sneak up there, I can get across the room without the boss noticing me. Hopefully this works. I'm off to a good start. I just need to figure out how to rescue Mikey from up here. Hmm? Oh, I hope he doesn't notice me. Hang on a second. What does he have on the wall over there? Laser rifles? No way! That must be his weapon rack. If I manage to steal one, I can use it to fight him. But first... I need to get down. I'll aim for the bed so I don't take any damage. Yes! Oh. Close one. The boss still hasn't noticed me. Slow and steady. Alright, I got a laser rifle! No, no! He finally noticed me! Hang on! He's attacking! He needs a laser rifle of his own! Pulled it off! I should check on Mikey. Hey, Mikey? Are you alive? I'm opening the door. Mikey! Come on! Talk to me! Uh... Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh, it's JJ! Wow, I'm so glad you're okay, Mikey. Yeah! I stole a laser rifle from your kidnapper and gave him a taste of his own medicine. It was sick! Thanks, JJ! By the way, I found something! Follow me! Huh? What is it? It's around here somewhere! Hmm... Does it have something to do with that lever? Oh! You found it! Nice! Thanks! Three, two, one! Whoa! Whoa! Behold! The treasure room! That's wow. amazing! This treasure is epic! Yeah! Let's open this chest! Whoa! Diamonds! Whoa! <laughs> what a crazy day! This creepy tower appeared, then Mikey walked in and got kidnapped. I climbed the tower, fought the boss, and won all this treasure! If you enjoyed our video, please make sure to like and subscribe! Thank you! Bye! Well then, let's get started! Today, we're holding an anti-zombie security house building competition! Oh, to see who can make the stronger build? That sounds like fun! Yeah! That means Mikey and I are each going to work on building the most secure house we can to fend off a horde of zombies! Let's do it! I'll get started! Okay! I'll go this way! Well, let's find out who can build the better security house. I'm gonna get started. First, I need to lay down the foundations for the house. I think I'll go a little overboard on the size of this one. Let's see... 
Hmm, 30's good. How's that? Okay, this is how big it's gonna be. Although it is pretty wide, I'll just make the whole thing bigger. Now I'll place the frames for my walls. I just have to follow the edges. Now for the corner. There we go. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now then, I want to use a lot of glass in this build. It's going to be awesome. I think this color's nice. I'll use the light blue glass for all the windows. Like this. All right. Nice. Just because it's a security house doesn't mean it can't have a cool modern aesthetic. Glass isn't the strongest material to build with, but that's why I'll be adding other security measures to protect the house from intruders. Really, the glass shouldn't be a problem in the end. Just like this. Yes, that looks great! That does it for the house's first floor. Next, I'll work on the ceiling. This'll only take a second. Yep, the roof is ready to go. I think I'll get to work on the entrance now. I'll put it over here. This is a good spot. I'm gonna make a hidden entrance. Let's see. First, I need to build something that works as a door. Like this. And then this part. Right there. Then this. Build the circuit. Yep, this is exactly what I imagined. This is going to be the entrance to the house, but you can't tell it's a door from the outside. I'll use an iron button since it blends in so well with the quartz. It won't be easy to find the button if you don't know where to look in the first place. Now to cover the inside. Gotta fill that in. There! That should do it for this part. It's a super secret entrance with a cool hidden door. Now it's time to focus on the interior. What should I build and prepare in the very unlikely event that someone breaks through the front door? Well, first things first, I need to be self-sufficient. So I'm gonna build an indoor farm. Once the farm is finished, I'll have fresh produce always growing and ready. I can live here for a long time, no problem. I'm gonna use dispensers filled with bone meal. This really helps indoor farms. I'll line them up like this along the side. Then, I'll fill in this row here with dirt. You know, security houses are built for when disaster strikes. When something like a zombie outbreak happens, I'll probably have to stay in here until it's safe to go back out. That's why I focus on being self-sufficient first. I don't want to worry about zombies and my next meal. Now I'll lay the redstone. Okay... Actually, I have an idea. I'm gonna water the soil from below, like this. Now I'll fill some more dispensers with wheat seeds. I'll make a row of them. I'll place redstone dust on top of these too. Okay, the first step is to place these levers on the side of the dispensers. I can flip these to plant a row of seeds. Then the other side needs to be triggered a few times, so the bone meal makes the farm grow wicked fast. Look! Instant fresh wheat! Awesome! My self-sufficient farm is complete. With that done, I won't need to worry about food for a long time. So, now it's time to move on to my next idea. I think I'll start working on the second floor. I'll use ladders to get up there. I think this spot is good. <laughs> then, here on top, I'll put a heavy-duty door latch. It feels more secure that way. Nice! 
Nice! That's done. Now I want to focus on designing and building. Let's see. I think I want to make a huge bedroom with poolside access. The first floor is for surviving. The second floor will be for thriving. I want it to be fabulous and extravagant. It'll be an escape from all the zombies outside. And then I'll curve it. Okay. Now I'll go back to this side. That's great. I don't want a big cube sitting here. I'm trying to make the shape of the house interesting, so I'll line the edge with the white blocks. Kinda like this. Perfect. Just like that. I'll fill in the floor here. This is where I'll put my poolside bedroom. Okay, looking good. Now for the windows. I'll fill in the windows by hand. I need to do the windows on the other side. You know, now that I'm looking at it, I might have built it too big. I think Mikey's gonna be surprised. Plus, I just wanted to build something huge today. There! Finished! The windows are done! Finally, the last step is to build the roof of this house. Okay... Here comes the ceiling. Concrete 15. Nice! That does it for the beautiful second floor. Now, over here in this area, I'm gonna build the pool. It's gonna be epic. I better get started. First, I wanna do this. Seal it up with glass. Yeah, right there. Is that good? Sweet! It worked! Now for the main attraction. I'll have this line of white blocks act as the side of a giant pool. I should add some steps. Time to use my bucket. If I dump the water diagonally like this, it'll fill the pool with water really quickly. Perfect! Filling in water diagonally makes it a lot faster and easier. The pool is done! Next up, my vision wouldn't be complete without a place to rest my head by the pool. I'll put the bed first and build around that. I think I'll go all out on this bedroom. Something like this. Line it with wood. I can put some bookshelves on the headboard. That way I can read in bed. There's nothing more relaxing than that. Okay. I'll put up some torches so I don't strain my eyes while reading. Then I'll complete it with a step at the foot of the bed. <laughs> that does it! Wow, this turned out great! One more thing I just thought of. I might want to eat up here. I'm envisioning a dining area. I'll make myself a dining table with some comfortable chairs. Now I just need to add a door to the second floor. How's that? Okay. Now it's all sealed up. I'm going with an enormous chamber door. The bigger the better. This is perfect. That's really nice. With that final piece, my poolside bedroom slash living room is complete. This is awesome! 
Now, even if a giant horde of zombies sends the world into chaos, any fortunate soul staying in my security house will be living a life of luxury. That should pretty much do it for the house part of my build. Now it's time to add some security to my security house. Our first tool for reinforcing is a personal favorite of mine, lasers. What's safer and cooler than that? This should be about right. These are important for a solid security system. A single zap from one of these bad boys and it's a full-on zombie barbecue. They should be perfect for protecting the house from zombies. I'll surround the whole place with a laser fence. Nothing will be able to cross through these. It's way too strong. Right there. Yes, last set. Here we go. All right, check these guys out. They're the best way to protect yourself and your base. Nothing will ever be able to get close. But still, I have a feeling this might not be enough. I need to keep adding to my ultimate security system. Here's another idea. I'll use laser rifles and energy cells as my next line of defense. All right, this goes here, and that goes there, then this on top. Yeah, nice. I've installed a laser rifle turret. Now I'll load it up with energy cells. This is a good idea. Nice, it's done, the ultimate turret. Time for a demonstration. Let's say a witch tries walking up to the house. The turret will activate automatically and start firing the laser rifle at the witch. See, it's super powerful. With enough turrets on the wall, the zombies won't stand a chance. They'll be fried before they know what's happening. With the huge horde of zombies coming, I'd like to be able to shave down their numbers as much as possible before they get too close to the house. Wow, this is awesome. Now for the entrance. I think I'm gonna switch out the turrets for something a little more substantial. Since this is one of the entrances to the house, I'll start by making a path leading up to it. One sec. There we go. This is looking good. Now there are no lasers right here. I'll make the turret much, much stronger. How about something like this? A nuclear death ray rifle. I have a feeling that'll do the trick. Now to set it up. First you place the weapon, then the ammo. There, all done. Now the perimeter is finished. I used lasers and powerful turrets to build a wall. That wraps it up for the exterior defenses. But I'm a bit of a worrywart. I want to make a plan just in case the zombies somehow break through. I think I have just the idea. I'll put some bodyguards on the first floor. In the unlikely event that something passes through the lasers, I want something to protect me. And another one? Perfect. Yeah, I think I'll build this next part using more quartz blocks. Let's see, I think I should probably place some pumpkin dispensers on top. There we go, just like this. Now the last part. Is this right? Time to extend the redstone circuit. Hook it up, the lever goes on the end here, and when I pull it, it transforms all of these iron blocks into iron golems. They're super powerful bodyguards. If anything can protect this house from zombies, they can. Moving on. Actually, my security house is almost finished. But I have one more thing, one more important security measure I'd like to put in. It'll be my last resort. When I have absolutely no other choice, this'll be it. And it'll go up here. I'm gonna build the last mechanism on the roof. First, the TNT. Like that. This is how to build the final escape mechanism. This goes in the middle. Now the water, and the corners, some slabs on the side, there, okay. Now for a button right here, I'll finish it up with a ring of redstone dust around the perimeter. All right, it's officially done, time for us to test it out, let's go. Whoa, it launches me straight into the sky, this will be my final security measure. But before I activate it, I think I want to add some elytra into the mix. Let's see, how should I do this? Hmm, looks about right. 
like this. I'll go ahead and fill it with lots of elytra. I'll need a helmet too for the big drop after I'm launched. I definitely want to protect my head from that. Also, the escape mechanism causes some damage, so I'll eat a golden apple. The apples can go here. Last step, a pressure plate. Hang on. Now all you need to do is step on this and... Cool! Check it out! I'm wearing elytra, holding a golden apple, and I have a diamond helmet on my head. I'll get the equipment slapped on and hop straight into the escape mechanism. Right now, you might be wondering why I want to build an escape like this in the first place. Well, if the zombies break through, I plan to use a self-destruct device on the house. I think it'd be smart to build the self-destruct here. This looks good. And then... There! That should be it! I guess I'll do the rest of it like this. Now I need to add a delay. In a perfect world, I'd like to have roughly one minute before it detonates. Just like this. I'm using plenty of repeaters to delay the signal for as long as possible. So far, so good. To test it, I'll put a redstone lamp down here. I'll replace it with TNT later. If I were to test the mechanism with TNT loaded and ready, it would be a huge mess and I'd lose all of my progress. Now I'm going to hide all the circuitry. Clean it up. All right. Let's see how long I have to escape before the bomb detonates. One, two, 15, 16, 17, 18, roughly 19 seconds. Is that enough? It's drill time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Oh, that works perfectly. Nice. But that's only enough time for one person. I'll build another for Mikey. There. Testing is done. Now it's time for the bombs. After pulling this lever, I'll have less than 20 seconds to make my escape. I have something special. It's called antimatter TNT, and it's the most intense explosive I have. I'll use this for the self-destruct. And with that, my security house is officially done. Mikey's probably finishing his up too. I'm curious as to what he's built. Here we are. Hmm. Mikey's security house looks like it's all finished. So let's start checking out what he's built. Check it out. This is it. Isn't it great? It's pretty cool. To test it out, I'll start by spawning some zombies. Sure. You can act as my guide. Okay, leave it to me. All right, I'll go ahead and make the zombie generator here. There. Once this lever is pulled, the zombies will swarm. Then you try to fight them off using the security house you built. Sounds good. Can I pull it? Sure, go ahead. Three, two, one, start! Whoa, this looks bad, Mikey! The entrance! It's closed! Pretend you're going in from the front door. Hurry! Over here? Oh, I see, you dropped the trap door. Yep. Gotcha! Isn't it cool? You parkour over here. Whoa, they're falling in! Into your lava trap. Hurry up, JJ, over here. A pool. Follow me. Can you see the way in? No. Here, look! Hmm? This is the entrance! Ta-da! Whoa, I see the secret door now! Cool! Look, Mikey! The zombies are getting fried! Nice! Just like I planned! They're getting stuck in spider webs and can't get out! Okay, then. What's next, Mikey? To the second floor! All right. Up the stairs and open! Whoa, what a view! Wow, look at all the zombies! Do you have any plan on what to do about them? I've got weapons! Go over here and grab one! Oh, sure thing! Okay. Grab the bow from here and then... Whoa! That's wild! You shoot the zombies down below! I get it! When the zombies get stuck in the spider webs and can't move, you shoot them! Like fish in a barrel! Exactly! It feels like one of those carnival games! Good point! Take that! 
feels like there's no end to them. There's so many! Well, what now? Is there anything else? There's still more! <clears throat> What's this? Oh, it's a secret passage! Oh, really? It's kind of like an air vent, right? Follow me! Whoa! Wow, cool! This is kind of dangerous. What's that? Oh, Mikey, our house is still surrounded by zombies. No problem. Nope, oh, they saw me. This dangerous thing here can help us. What's it do? I see the gold block with an arrow in it. You put a lever on the gold block. Oh, I see. Don't pull it yet! See, I made this in case everything gets out of control. But, Mikey, I think everything is already out of control. JJ, just watch. Sure. After you pull the lever, do everything that I do. Okay. Ah! Hey, hurry up and pull it! Okay, I'm coming! Pull it! Hurry! Go, JJ! Oh man, I need to get away! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Crazy! Some of the zombies survived the explosion. Still, that was really interesting. Okay, let's keep going, Mikey. We better run away. My security house was a bust. I even used my last resort. It's okay. Your last resort was a self-destruct mechanism, huh? That was a lot of fun. Let's run! Let's go, Mikey! Let's run to my place next. I'll show you my security house. I can't wait! Now I'm gonna show off my build. How does it look? It's huge! And so fancy! I'm really curious about how you made your security house. Show me around! Okay, get ready. I'm gonna start summoning the zombies. I'll be right behind you. But where's the entrance? Don't worry about that. Three, two, one, go! Run, Mikey! Get Yikes! inside the perimeter! Look at the turrets. They're shooting the zombies instantly. Nice! Yeah, that's awesome. Piece of cake. Look at that. Whoa! Whoa, JJ! They're breaking through! Oh, you're right. Let's go inside. This button opens the door. I'm right behind you. Oh, it's not shutting! A few made it through! Don't worry, I planned for this. Bodyguards, go! What? No oh, way! They're attacking! I made iron golems! They saved us! Oh, nice! Now it's super safe inside the house. Look outside! Thank you! The zombies are fighting with the turrets! Wow! Cool! Well, I doubt the zombies can get in here now. How are you, Mikey? My health is really low. I'm not doing well, honestly. Oh, in that case, you can have some of this, Mikey. What is it? Take a look. I made a crafting table. Here you go. Have a few loaves of bread. You're giving me your food? Yep. Thank you. Watch this. I can make as much bread as I want. How? I can plant the wheat with this one. Huh? Then if I flip this one, look. It's growing so quickly. Yep, I have an almost instant farm. That means I can make as much bread as I want. Wow! I could go for a quick bite now. That's amazing! You're self-sufficient. Yep. And you have bodyguards! Hey, Mikey, should I give you a tour of the second floor? Let's go! Open up! <laughs> it opens like this. Oh! There's something I want to show you, Mikey. It's up here. <sighs> First, I need to open the door. And close it behind us. Check out this room. Oh, wow! Isn't it cool? Man, it's like living in a mansion. I know! Isn't it a bit much? There's a place to sit and eat. Then you can play in the swimming pool. Fabulous! I've never seen anything like it. I know, right? Wow! Look here, Mikey. Huh? We can watch the outside world from the pool. Let's sit back and relax while the security system takes care of the zombies. Look at it go! You're right! Wow, they're dropping like flies! Maybe it will destroy them all for us. I feel safe in here. Well, Mikey, let's take a much-needed breather. Yeah, that sounds nice. It looks like there's no end to the zombies. This house is the best! Oh no, Mikey, look! What's wrong? Wow, look at the lasers! Watch out! Zombies incoming! Really? How? What do we do? Hang on, Mikey. I need to check out the situation. Oh no, it's bad. Ouch! What's going on? See for yourself. The zombies have armed themselves. No! Oh, they're shooting at us, Mikey. Oh no! Back to the first floor. Oh, maybe not. Ah! They got Mikey. 
We can't stay on the first floor. It's overrun. This is really bad. Oh, man. There's so many shooting at Way us. Way too many zombies. We're done for, Mikey. The turrets don't seem to be able to take out those special zombies. So what do we do now? I'm scared. I have just the thing. The ultimate self-destruct device. Where? Here. What's that? The lever. First, I have to smash the glass. Then what? After that, we have 20 seconds before the giant explosion. Ah! Using my device, I'm going to destroy all the zombies. You ready, Mikey? Will we be safe? We'll be okay. As soon as I pull the lever, dash up there. We'll use the escape mechanism to run away. Got it. Ready? You only have 20 seconds. Let's go. This security house is going to explode and take all of the zombies with it. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Hurry up, Mikey. Let's go. What's up there? What do I do? You're going to be fine. Oh, I see it. OK, go through the entrance to the left. I'm in. In the center. OK, we're out of here. Here we go. What? Use the elytra to fly away. Mikey! Woohoo! You need to get further away! Oh no! I can see it! Are you okay, Mikey? Whoa! Uh, 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 whoa! What's going on? Whoa! Huh? That was a close one! That noise was terrifying! What happened, JJ? Oh! <laughs> no way! Wow! It's gone without a trace! That's insane! Look at it! Some of the zombies still survived. We may not have been able to destroy them all, but they definitely can't climb back up here. So they're trapped. We win! I think you should probably come back, Mikey. I'm coming! Give me a sec! Well, to wrap it all up, my security house is gone without a trace. Wow! But the zombies are sealed away, so I guess we achieved our goal. Today, we both built our own anti-zombie security houses. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.